good day viewers welcome to my youtube channel this is your presenter mr mrenga so right here with me i've got a question that is coming from travel graphs okay the question reads a sprinter runs a race of 200 meters her total time for running the race is 25 seconds ending at u meters per second below is a sketch of the motion of the sprinter so this is the sketch showing the motion of the sprinter so this sprinter was uh, running a race that was uh, 200 meters okay then a total time for running the race is 25 seconds right here ending at u meters per second right here okay so this is the sketch now let us look at um, the questions so questions calculate the a acceleration in the first four seconds so for question a they want you to calculate the acceleration. So question A are going to answer it from here. So to find the acceleration, first come up with a formula for acceleration, which is acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time. All right. So from here, let's take, uh, take note of the most important things that we are given. We are finding the acceleration in the first four seconds, meaning that this printer started from here. Okay started sprinting accelerating going upwards okay so the initial accelerator uh, velocity was zero meters per second the final was the nine meters per second right here okay then time was in four seconds so what you are going to do is where there is v we are going to put the final velocity which will be a nine right here so this is nine minus then where there is initial, we'll put a zero right here. Over the time is four. Okay. So from here, what are we going to do? Nine minus zero, get a nine over four. Then from here, uh, we're just going to say four into nine. It goes there two times. Remainder a one over four. So meters per second square. So this is the acceleration okay so we have answered question a let us now look at question b calculate the distance covered in the first 20 seconds so the distance covered in the first 20 seconds when you look at uh, this uh, motion of the sprinter it's from here zero then the 20 seconds is here so we are considering the distance under the, the graph let me uh nicely identify the distance that we want so this is the the distance that we want in the first 20 seconds from 0 seconds to 20 seconds so we are considering this shape the shape that is shaded so when you look at this shape this is a trapezium okay and the, the distance under this shape will consider the area under the graph the area under the trapezium okay so what are we going to do? We are going to come up with the, the formula for finding the distance or the area under the trapezium. Okay, so this is what we are going to do right here. Let me do this. Okay, so to start from here, we are answering question B. So we say distance is equal to, now this is the formula for finding the area under the, the trapezium. Open bracket, A plus B, close bracket h divided by 2 so this is the formula now from here let us identify the letters that we have we have a b also the height there so let us go back to our diagram so this is our diagram right here so let us identify so a will be presented from here up to here this will be our a okay b will be presented from here up to 20 so this is b the height will be presented from here up to here this is where we are going to have the height so now let's identify what values are being presented by these letters so a is the difference since it's sending here and here so when you come down you find a 20 even when you come down you find a 4 so find the difference in time okay where you say 20 minus 4 you are going to get a 16 so a will be a 16 for B, it's 0 to 20. The difference here will be 20 
minus 0. So B will be a 20. Then the height from here to here, the corresponding value is 9 right here. So the height will be equal to 9. So these are the values that we are going to replace in the formula. Where there is A, we put 16. Where there is B, we put 20. Where there is height, we put a 9 there. So, so we have now come back to our formula right here. So where there is distance, we just write D equal to. So remember, we have said where there is A, we are going to write a 16. Plus where there is B, we said this is a 20. Okay. Where there is height, we have said this is 9. Divided by 2. Okay. So from here, what are we going to do? From here, we are just going to say uh, distance is equal to. So let us now just add. Okay. We just add 16 plus 20. 16 plus 20. This will give us 36 in brackets. Then 9. Meaning it's the 6 times 9. Then divided by what? By 2. Right here. So from here, you say distance is equal to. So you can divide 2 here 1. 2 into 36. It's 18. So we have 18 times 9. Okay. So my distance or our distance is going to be 18 times 9. We are going to get 9 times 8, this is 72, we write it 2. Uh, 9 times um, 1, it's 9, plus 7, it's 16. So, 18 times 9, we get 169, okay? So, meters, this is our distance right here, okay? So, this is our distance. So, after finding our distance, so, we let me just put here, we said... The acceleration was 2 number, then 1 over 4 meters per second square. The distance, we have found that it is 162 meters, okay? So, let us now go back to the last question. Alright, so we are now, uh, we have answered A and B. Let us now come to question C. Calculate the value of U, okay? Value of U. So, when you look at where U is, you see, right here, which is in E speed okay so they want you to find the value of this u so how can you find the value of this u okay so the way you are going to find the value of this u let us check where it's going okay it's going here right here when the sprinter was decelerating right here okay so we are going to consider this shape this shape i don't know if you are able to see this shape this is the shape that you are going to consider right here okay so let me just uh, shade the shape all right so this is the shape the one that is shaded in black okay so when you look at this shape it's a trapezium as well okay so if it's trapezium and we know that the formula for trapezium that we are going to have a and b also the height so let's identify those sides so the shortest length from here to here this will be presented by letter a then from here to here this will be presented by letter be like this okay then from here to here because it's like this so from here to here this will be our height so let's add, let us identify now the values that these letters will present so from here to here you have u okay so we'll find the difference where you say u minus this zero u minus a zero so it's u so a will be presented by u then for b is from here up to here so the correspondence value is 9 so from here to here it's 9 9 minus 0 which is a 9 so b will be presented by 9 okay then from here to here we have got the height we have 20 and 25 so from here to here we just say 25 minus 20 this will give us a 5 so the height is a 5 okay now we what we are going to do is, we assume that we are finding the distance of this uh, trapezium or the area of this trapezium, okay? So, what are you going to need? What you need is, remember, in the at the beginning, they told you that the sprinter, okay? So, at the beginning, they said the sprinter runs a race of 200 meters. So, the total distance 
okay for the whole journey is 200 so we have found the distance from 0 to 20 okay seconds we found that the distance was 162 not so so we are going to get the total distance 200 minus 162 okay which will give us a 38 uh, meters so this simply means that the distance now from here to here it's a 162 that you found then the distance from here to here we are considering this trapezium which will be the 38 meters so together when you add this and this we should have a 200 meters the distance for the whole journey so to assume that you are finding the distance of this okay you'll be using this distance 38 so i hope this is uh, clear so let us now come back to our question so we say distance is equal to we say a plus b in brackets over 2 then the height there so i've said where there is distance we'll put 38 because we are using uh we are using this shape so the distance for this shape is a 38 it's a 38 that we found there okay so we we'll say 38 is equal to remember a we said is u b is a 9 because height we said this is a 5 over so I hope you are getting me here. So what you do is you say 38 is equal to 5 times u to be 5u plus 5 times 9 to be a 45 over 2 like this. So from here what are we going to do? We are going to say uh, this is a fraction. This is not a fraction. We divide by 1. Then we cross multiply. 38 times 2. So 2 times 8. 16 we write 6 we carry 1 2 times 3 it's 6 plus 1 7 that 8 times 2 it's 76 equal to 5u plus 45 so from here there is need for you to correct the right terms so 76 the right term is uh, 45 so once it comes here to be negative 45 which will give us a 5u this side okay so I hope that we are moving together. You are following through. You are, you are not behind. Let me demarcate. So from there, we continue. So the moment we subtract uh, 76 minus 45. So uh, 76 minus 45, this will give us a 31. Okay. Which is equal to 5u. So, since we want to find the value of u, so we need to divide by 5, even this side by 5, so that this 5 and this 5 you cancel. Then you are going to say u is equal to 5 here 1, 5 into 30, it's 6. Remainder, 1. Okay? Then 5 into 1, it can't, you put a point there. Then you add the 0 to 1 becomes 10, 5 into 10, it's a what? A 2. Okay? So the U is in is its speed, so this will be 6.2 meters per second as the value of U. So we are just going to write it here where we say U is equal to 6.2 meters per second as our answer. So thank you so much everyone for having time to view this content. Please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave any comment in the comment section. Bye bye.